Welcome to the Kunta Kinte Alex Haley Memorial, promoted and maintained by the Kunta Kinte Alex Haley Foundation of Annapolis, Maryland. The Kunta Kinte Alex Haley Memorial is the only memorial in the country that commemorates the actual name and place of arrival of an enslaved African. We are located 45 miles south of the Mason-Dixon line. In the heart of one of America's tidewater towns, the memorial is seen by some million visitors a year and rated as one of the top 10 visitor sites in the area. We are located here at the water's edge in the heart of Annapolis, Maryland. For well over 300 years, the city of Annapolis has served as the political center of the state of Maryland. In the 17th and 18th centuries, the city was also one of the many destination sites along the Chesapeake Bay for the sale of enslaved human cargo from Africa. Hi, I'm Chris Haley, and I'll be your guide today as you visit the memorial. This memorial has a special meaning to me since I serve as the director of the study of the legacy of slavery here at the Maryland State Archives in Annapolis. And I am also a direct descendant of Kunta Kinte. The late Alex Haley, the man who won a Pulitzer Prize for sharing our family story with the world in his book, Roots, was my uncle. At the end of this brief introduction, I will ask you to tell us the nearest memorial site to where you are located. From this location, I will guide you to the other parts of the memorial. But first, let's go back in time to the story of the man who has become a human symbol for all enslaved Africans who once came to these African shores against their will, Kunta Kinte. Today, we identify with Kunta Kinte because he has a name and a story. So many other enslaved Africans who passed through this port remain nameless to us and their individual stories are unknown. On a hot summer July day in 1767, a ship named the Lord Ligonier, bound for a number of ports along the Chesapeake Bay and the American colonies, left the Gambia in Africa with a cargo of 140 newly captured Africans. The ship cleared customs in Annapolis nearly three months later on September 29th. Its cargo was reduced to only 98 survivors. We believe Kunta Kinte was one of the survivors. Here's an example of how humans were stored on slave ships when they were transported as unwilling cargo to the New World. An ad in the local newspaper posted the planned sale of the Lord Ligonier's human cargo, scheduled for October 7th of 1767. Annapolis has an original copy of the ad located at the Maryland State Archives. I'll be telling you more about my ancestor Kuta Kinte, and also my Uncle Alex, as we visit the different parts of this memorial. There are three primary parts, so don't forget to visit them all. There's the Compass Rose, an information kiosk located by the side of the market house. There's a life-size sculpture group of my Uncle Alex reading our family story to three children of diverse ethnic backgrounds. Immediately behind where Alex sits, is a three-sided granite and stone pedestal, which includes three dedication and commentary plaques. By the way, stay tuned to hear an interesting true story about one of the plaques. It is a legendary tale which includes an unsolved mystery. Maybe someday you will be the one to help us solve it. And then there is the story wall, which is located along the former port seawall. It includes a special remembrance tribute to one of the leading people behind the installation of the memorial. You see, this memorial was not an easy project to build. It took more than 25 years from its beginning to its completion in 2002. It also included a multi-phase installation process, with the first phase of installation completed in 1997, five years before its final completion. A symbolic Ellis Island, this site marks a place of beginning in America for African Americans who may never know the actual names and life stories of their immigrant ancestors. So I do hope you take the time to learn about the whole story of the memorial and what it symbolizes. To continue viewing and learning more about the Kunta Kinte Alex Haley Memorial, please select one of its three components, the one nearest to where you are standing. Compass Rose and Information Kiosk, Alex Haley's Sculpture Group and Memorial Dedication Bollard, Story Wall and Leonard A. Blackshear Tribute Plaque. 
We encourage your support in continuing these efforts. We solicit financial contributions and volunteer efforts to continue our work. Visit our website at www.kentehaley.org and contact us by email at info at kentehaley.org.